Welcome back to the Green Living Vessel YouTube channel. Today I'm going to answer one of the questions that many of you asked. Is this thing really solar powered? Is it really off grid? Well, this is the solar farm. 108 solar panels, uh, about 43 kilowatts of power. And yes, the answer is this is providing 100% of the power for this boat for everything except propulsion when we move it but most of the time this boat is not being moved so when it's not being moved it is 100% solar powered I'm going to show you the calculations and the systems and why that can be well by now you know that everything's pretty much electric on this boat there is no propane no gasoline no shore power but everything is electrically powered where possible so let's take a look at all the things around the boat that are electrically powered to give you an idea of the scale of this thing. solar power has to come somewhere. This is the heart of the boat system. 14 inverters in this boat. Huge amount of power. I'm going to show you a spreadsheet here. Um, but also you can see here where the solar panel wiring comes in from the roof. These little things at the bottom are lightning suppressors to try and prevent damage on the electronics from any lightning strikes. So this battery bank is the heart of everything from a storage point of view. Each one of these cages here has six quite large LFP batteries in it. Uh, this is enough to run the boat about three days. You'll see on the spreadsheet, uh, without guests, this boat is using about 60 kilowatt hours a, a day of electricity. With guests, we've been up to 120 kilowatt hours of electricity in a day, which is significantly more than most homes, of course. Of course, there are some days where we may not get much sunshine. So the battery bank is designed to run the boat for about three days with very little or no sunshine. And typically on a sunny day, these things are charged up again within a day. So we have plenty of solar power and plenty of storage. Uh, we do have a generator just in case, but it's never been used other than testing. And uh, we have enough solar power to run everything. We made the calculations, they turned out to be pretty accurate, and so far this boat has been self-sufficient every day for months, and uh, no generator backup or anything has been required. So on the screen we get a good summary of how much power we're producing, how much we've used, how much storage is in the battery, and anything else we need to know is all on this screen. I'll do a deeper dive on this one day, but for now, I hope that gives you an idea at a high level how this energy system on the boat works. Again, 100% solar power now for months. We have not had to use any other form of electricity. Even though we've had sometimes six or eight people staying on the boat. So that's it for this short video. An overview of how this electrical system works. How the solar system provides the power from the roof, the inverters, batteries, a quick look at all the things that use electrical power. But as you can see, everything is electrically powered. And so far in all the months of testing, we have had enough solar power to run everything, regardless of how many people have been on the boat. So I think uh, this design has been pretty successful from an electrical point of view. So if you're like me, I'm pretty excited to see that this system is really working as designed. It really is truly 100% off-grid, has been for months, I have no doubt that it will be for the next few months or years, and uh, I'll bring you more details in, in, uh, in future videos. But thank you for joining the YouTube channel here for The Green Living Vessel. If you would like to subscribe or give us a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I'll bring you another video. Please leave comments about topics that you would like to see, and I will do videos on those topics. Thank you very much.